You go first. Oh, it's Dee and Cornelius, so I'm Susie D. I'm Patricia Cornelius. And wh- why didn't we go Cornelius and DC before D? Because you were really oh, yeah. greedy about your name being first. Yeah, it sounds, but it's got a bit of, it's not D and Cornelius, it's got a nice ring rather than yeah. Cornelius and D. Mm. I'm the writer of shit. I'm the director of shit. And uh, we don't mean that generally. We mean it as the play called shit. There's an obvious provocation there. And, and then it actually refers to the three female cast members in it, or three female characters, um, who actually believe they are shit, that they are um, the bottom of the barrel. And it is about these three women who have, are really are extremely damaged goods and who kind of approach the world in a way that is most confronting and most powerful. We've got ten women involved in, in the whole project. A lot of us have worked together before, but this is the first time I think this team of ten have come together to work on this project. So we're pretty, we're pretty excited. Yeah. We met quite a while ago. Patricia wrote a play called Lillian May. It was a two-hander for two women. And we had just previously worked on another play together and we really got along, so we worked together. I was Lily and Patricia was May. In the end, we, we toured this show probably for three years. Oddly enough, it sort of feels like it could be the genesis of this work. I like to write for actors. I like actors to work hard in the space. I like them to have lots to do and to be able to realise the work in a way that surprises and reimagines the text. And Susie is a, 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 the, that kind of director. So we have a great chance to kind of look at the, the, the stuff we've done in the past and kind of push it further. And Neon's kind of invites that because we will push really, really hard with the language, with the style, with the kind of merging of the physical and the visceral nature of the language. The big downside with independent theatre is, you know, you don't really get the bucks to support it. But you have the freedom and you can do what you like. You know, you can create the work that you want to create. Really good independent theatre is radical. It is actually going to shock you. It is actually going to make you think differently. There are some works that you go in and once it starts and once you feel that the actors have absolute control of it and, have a, have, and the language is supporting them and the, and the ideas are unfolding in a way that are, are, are kind of surprise you and shock you and um, move you. Um, it, it is such an exciting experience. Um, I guess that's what you, you aim for every time and with a work like we're the impending shit that the work is, will absolutely um, have a force and, and that force is something that you want to, that we kind of, you want to kind of work on, that you want to take further, to make further risks with it. Um, that's what we're expecting and hoping. Dee Cornelius, not Cornelius and Red.